Untuk 2017, produsen-produsen utama mainan kembali mengandalkan mainan tie-in dengan film layar lebar, termasuk diantaranya Hasbro, serta pesaing utamanya Mattel, produsen boneka Barbie. From DC Superhero Girls, we have new new characters and we have a Wonder Woman jet. We have a new Belle, which is the star of Beauty and the Beast, where people can uh, kids can code a dance move and then the Belle doll actually does the dance. Versi non-kartun Beauty and the Beast diputar perdana Maret, sementara film superhero Wonder Woman dirilis pertengahan 2017. In a typical year of the toy business, you see six to eight films that have toy tie-ins. This year, they're close to 25, and most of them are going to be quite big. Beauty and the Beast and Power Rangers, Guardians of the Galaxy, you have Spider-Man, Cars 3, and of course, you have the big one at the end of the year, the next edition of Star Wars. Star Wars tetap menjadi kontributor utama pemasukan dari produk tie-in menurut lembaga riset retail NPD dengan penjualan sekitar 200 triliun rupiah selama dua tahun. Pencipta Star Wars George Lucas termasuk yang merintis pemanfaatan lisensi ini. Pada 1973, ia rela gajinya sebagai sutradara film Star Wars pertama dipangkas dan sebagai gantinya ia memegang lisensi atas produk-produk yang dibuat berdasarkan tokoh-tokoh film Star Wars. Empat puluhan tahun kemudian, produk tie-in ikut menjadi faktor penentu pembuatan film. Toys and the entire licensing universe, which includes apparel and include video games and lots of other things, um, they're part of the decision in many cases on whether or not the movie gets made. Uh, you look at the potential revenue streams. Mainan dan produk lain terkait film terbaru Star Wars The Last Jedi akan dirilis 1 September dalam promosi yang disebut Force Friday. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi, VOA.